Hi everyone, it's Michelle here from Older Women Rock and I'm at it again. Yes, I'm at my thrift store. This is my local thrift store in my town. I'm doing a bit of theme today. I thought I'd do a theme and it's a boho theme. I'm going to show you all the fabulous boho clothing that you can buy so economically in thrift stores. Now it does depend on your demographics. This demographic suits the boho fashion style. There's lots in here. I'm quite, quite excited about this store. So I haven't done a video on this store before you. So it's only a very small one. It's a little bit cramped. I'm going to do my best and we're going to focus on boho style. I want to show you what they have in here and the prices as well. So don't forget ladies, thrifting is about recycling. We're all for that these days. And it's also about helping out your charities. <laughs> this charity is an incredible charity. It helps a lot of people in this country. And well, I feel really good about that. And if you spend money with them, you're helping a lot of other people in need because there's so many needy people. Sometimes charities are for animal groups and I'm all for that as well because I'm into animal welfare. So let's go have a look and let's look at the boho theme today and see what we can find. I know there's going to be some absolute gems in this store. So first off, I found a kimono. We love kimonos. They're great for throwing over and hiding our arms and trans seas and all that. Always add that little bit of edge. Now, boho, remember, is an abbreviation for the word bohemian and it's from the French word meaning gypsy, free-spirited, free-thinking and the clothing is often loose and flowing. So this is just a little kimono and I'm about to show you a few more. Here I have another kimono. I'm just loving the soft colors in this. Look at the greens and the blues. This is a really spring kimono. It's very lightweight. It feels fantastic. And I love the curved edges on these. By the way, ladies, these are all $5 and under. And this is where you get a fantastic selection of your boho gear, particularly your kimonos, anything that screams boho. And I think this does, but I just love the fresh colors. It's, it's a spring kimono, this one. Hey, check out this pink blouse. It's flowing, it's asymmetrical. It's pink and it's got gold in it. It's got great sleeves. I just think it's a real original sort of style. But this is fantastic. It's a really great transitional or even for summer. I love the way the bottom has that sharp edge on it and it's got the asymmetrical look going on. Love this blouse. It's very boho. When it comes to boho, tie dye is never out. It's always in. This is modified tie dye, and this is the way mature women wear it. Just a touch of tie dye. What a great color this is. It's a very vibrant color. This is just a cardi, a button up cardi. I'm wearing it as a top. So don't dismiss tie dye. It never goes out of fashion, but you just keep it tame. We don't want 50 colors thrown in at once. Just the two tone like this is good enough for tie-dye. So many boho style tops in here. It was almost impossible to choose which ones I love the most. Honestly, there were so many. They're $5. I've done the half tuck. The half tuck's been popular for a while now. It just gives you a little bit more style, a little bit more edge. This is an off the shoulder one. I spoke about that recently in mature women dressing in a sexy fashion. This off the shoulder always gives a central romantic look. The lady looked there when I said the word sexy. Got you there. <laughs> There's nothing like that word, is there? Sensual, romantic for mature ladies. So $5 for this top and there was hundreds to choose from. Another boho style top. Peasant blouse. It's paisley. Paisley is always boho. Well, it's not always boho, but it indicates a boho look with the paisley print. This peasant blouse on the half tuck again. And I've added lots of silver with this bean blue. Now, silver jewelry is synonymous with boho. I'll just show you these bracelets. These are gorgeous silver and turquoise bracelets. Silver goes with boho. I wear gold jewelry, but I throw in a little bit of silver sometimes if I'm doing my boho look. It doesn't mean gold can't be boho, but think about adding a bit of silver and you can find silver jewelry like this in the thrift stores as well. Another great boho blouse, 100% cotton, flowers, love the colors, a little bit earthy. The 
got apricots and pinks in there, a little bit of black teaming back with the black jeans. It doesn't always have to be earthy colours for boho. Boho embraces all colours. Earthy, of course, absolutely, but all colours. Bright, muted colours. Pinks have been on trend for some time now. They're really popular with boho, particularly when they've got the plums thrown back in with them. Love this dress. Empire line. It's a stretch fabric. The print is very boho. I love the colour. It's one of my favourite colours, this. And it's just a really comfortable dress to wear, this one. It's stretch, so boho doesn't always have to be cotton because this is some form of polyester stretch. But it's just a great throw-on dress. And, well, with being Empire Line, it's a little bit forgiving there on the tummy. Loving this dress. Five dollars. This is what I call modified boho. This is a bow tie dye. It's, not a, it's actually in the print itself. Tangerine and white. Really, really fresh for spring. It's a great little dress. Hey, it's got pockets. I just found pockets in this dress. Great shift dress. The right leg for mature ladies. Zip down the front. Can't go wrong with a style like this. Find any more boho than this. The rich embroidery on this dress is absolutely stunning. It's got the Mexican embroidery, that Mexican style. I remember wearing these back in the 70s. It was really popular then. Remember, ladies? When the Mexican embroidery was so popular. Well, it's back again. It's actually never gone out of fashion. The embroidery is incredible. The colors are rich against the white. I just think this dress is divine and it's classically boho. You could wear this in so many different ways. You could accessorize it. You could choose any of the colors in here to accessorize this beautiful dress. Some people call that viscose. Rayon is my favorite fabric to wear in summer and spring. It's really cool. It's easy to wear. It has a lovely pull. The print is paisley and the colors couldn't be more boho. It's got purples and plums and pinks and a little bit of black in there. This is a Connie Murphy dress. My friend Connie Murphy on YouTube with her channel. She loves purple. She's a woman who embraces purple. Connie Murphy from YouTube would love this dress. It's very much her color is wrap skirt. This is absolutely a most beautiful. Look at the print. The colors are divine. It's just tied and wrapped around and guess what? It's reversible. Look at the inside print. There's blues in there. It's a paisley pink and blue print on the inside. It's reversible. You can wear it both ways. That's pretty versatile. So you've got your brights and your pinks and your blues, which you can team up with. Look fantastic with a turquoise tank top or a turquoise tee. And then you can wear it reverse and team it up with the royal blue in here or the um, the tangerine color or any of the colors got got so many gorgeous colors in there i just think this is absolutely beautiful this um reversible tie wrap skirt i haven't seen one like this and the fabrics are divine i've changed thrift stores now i've moved over to another town in my local area and we're still going kimono this is a gorgeous soft peach one floral loving in this one i think this one will be mine we're still on the boho theme and this thrift store once again lots of gems boho gems in here pretty excited once again boho tops plenty of them today i'm really scoring today peaches and browns it's got some sequins embroidery on the top the print is so boho i love this top it's 100 percent cotton it's mine this top is mine been looking for the perfect boho dress today i found it look at the colors in this dress the elastic under the bust is rayon 100 percent rayon it's a maxi the colors as i said i love blues, tangerines, oranges and corals together. I think they're a gorgeous combination. It's got sleeves on it so I can go out in the sun without getting too burnt up the top. Perfect boho dress. I adore this dress. Oh my, I'm going to be spending money today ladies, but it's only, how much? Half five dollars. Wow, <laughs> it's mine. Beautiful earthy tones, lots of oranges, browns this is a tribal earthy print it's a great little rayon dress i even found some wooden two dollar beads to match up with this dress to give it the boho look 
and a return bag. This bag is $8. As I said in a recent video, return is very on trend at the moment. Cane and return, cane and return is really on trend. It, you're going to see a lot of it in shoes and bags. You probably already have, and I love it. It's very earthy, and this whole look is a boho earthy look. I found a boho skirt with a beautiful paisley print. It's black, it's cream, it's got corals in it and gray in it. It's a gorgeous print. It's asymmetrical, it's rayon, it's a great rayon fabric. It feels fantastic, it's a beautiful print. That's what I love about bohos. The prints are so rich, they're interesting prints and they're always on trend. Everybody, say hello to Camilla. Hello. Camilla today was my video. What do you call it? Video taker. <laughs> <laughs> my cinematographer. <laughs> she was my cinema photographer today and what a brilliant job first time ever thank you so much Camilla thanks for you have a nice day so um, well it's probably from Bali it's got the coconut shells buttons and beads wooden beads coconut shells gorgeous bag that's a boho bag for certain What's that dress again Well, we're going more disco with this, aren't we? That's not really quite boho, but some great bags, nevertheless. I really like that. But, yes, we've hit it. This is boho. Definitely a boho bag. Absolutely. I can't get up. I can't get up. No, you're I'll get there. <laughs> Oh well, more beads and more beads again. <laughs> the thrift stores always have the best jewellery. The collection of beads, you can find any colour you want. Team up with any outfit that you've got that where you're looking for something. Yes, and we found boho. <laughs> Definitely found some boho in here. Printed. It's actually a, a denim jacket, but it's a floral printed one. I haven't seen one of those. I don't think I've ever seen one like that actually. And with the um, piping on it as well. Lace blouse, satin skirt, little silver belt, all tying in. Beautiful outfit. Definitely a bit of a boho outfit, that one. That's boho chic. Definitely, definitely boho chic, that one. I'm definitely in luck today. This is definitely a boho day with this blouse and these apricot colours and the muted orange tines are just so on trend, particularly with the boho at the moment. And we've got espadrilles here. I've always adored espadrilles. They're always on trend and they do have a bit of a boho look to them. Wow, all the jewellery here is fitting in too. I'm getting incredibly tempted today. There's so many beautiful things that I'm seeing. I don't know what's happened. I've just lucked out, I think. Wow, <laughs> that is so cute. It's a great print. Loving that. That's a um, short suit, a play suit or a short suit. And beaded sandals. Like it's a boho day. Oh, what's this? This bag here. Mm, going around. I didn't do that. I never oh, yes. I'm beating on that. I can never do that. Cute, cute, cute. Oranges and these earthy chimes definitely a boho theme to them. Hey, that's pretty nice. Yes, definitely a boho day. I must have just known that it was going to be boho around today. I 
we've incredibly locked out. Great outfits today for spring. Hmm. Let me see what's happening with that dress then. There it is. Good evening. Indian sandals. Do we remember the Indian toe sandals? I do. I didn't have them in old. Uh, I didn't have them in um, metallic, but I certainly had them in browns and tans. They were so popular. I wore them for years in the seventies. That's a great bag there. I'm gonna check that bag out in a minute. It's only well, it's got fifteen dollars on it because it is a great bag, and that is a boho bag. Very eclectic here. We've got a lot of shoes with metallic thing happening. Oh, those gold high heels are to die for. Well, they're Nine West. Nine West is a great brand for shoes. Those sneakers. Oh, we're going metallic. Not boho, but gorgeous nevertheless. And we have rainbow pumps. Cork pumps. They are just incredible. Well, they're disco. So if you were going to a fancy dress, they would absolutely be perfect. They're beautiful. They're beautiful anyway. Perry jeans. Very blah blah blah. These look like they're brand new, these shoes. They've got the box. Yeah? They've got the box. Oh, and made in Italy. Five dollars made in Italy. I can't really argue with that. Everything is looking amazing today. I've really found the right day here. Oh, gorgeous little dress. No boho. Oh, I missed that one, didn't I? I definitely missed that one. And we're going roses. Seem to be a lot of great shoes here today. Easy to get really good second-hand shoes. Of course, they have to be your size, but there seems to be quite a few here today. Oh my goodness! I think I found mine. Orange heel. Um. Clarice. Oh, size six, of course. Oh dear. Of course they were size 6 when I'm a size 7. They're beautiful. I would buy them in a heartbeat. If you're into big, bold, chunky jewellery with beautiful colours, well, there, there, there it is. Some really great shoes today. I'm very impressed with the shoes in here. I want those orange ones so badly. It's always the way when you're finding the perfect shoe, isn't it? Not your size. I'm the average size in a shoe. You think it'd be easy to find my size, but it always sells the quickest. Just wanted to mention to you something about demographics and thrift store shopping. Well, it depends where you live sometimes, what you're going to find in the thrift stores. Now, the one that I just took you into, that's my local thrift store. I'm just gonna take off now. Um, and it has a younger demographics. We have a dump, younger demographics in our town. It's not a huge retiree area. And it's also very casual and very beachy. And quite frankly, it is actually famously known for that boho look. We have three or four fashion labels that started in this town and they focus exclusively on the boho look. It's always been like that in this town. It's just one of those places like, you know, the famous towns like, um, well, might have been San Francisco in its day. So just keep in mind that the demographics will alter the kind of clothing that you find in your thrift stores you're going to find different styles in different demographics now if you're going to um, thrift stores in suburban areas in the city where they're high-end suburban well you're gonna pay more but you will find designer labels and more 
high-end labels and you might find more stylish classic um, clothing so just remember demographics do play a lot and I can always tell where people have been shopping in these towns by the clothing that are in the thrift stores because they buy from their local stores or the stores that are around them and they donate the clothing that they buy from those stores so when you're in the bigger areas you're obviously going to get a lot bigger variety of labels than you're going to get in smaller towns that's pretty obvious i suppose they don't have thrift stores in your area that you find enticing or they don't have the great deals or the variety or the style that you're looking for when you're out of town and when you're in a different area try a different area i do sometimes when i go to another area i check out the thrift stores if i have time because honestly every area is different like i said the more shops the more variety you're going to have, particularly when they have all the majors in there. You're going to get lots of Zara and H&M when you have big malls and so forth like that. You're going to get the labels and you will get more high-end labels, but you might pay more. It doesn't mean you can't find them in the regional areas. It's just that they'll be more limited um, and well, they will be cheaper if you find them. That's why they're, they're a great find when you find those top end labels. Okay, so just remember demographics do play a big part. I'm trying to find the right spot for this. I'm not very good at um, just using my phone for these videos. So just remember demographics does play a, a really big part in thrift store shopping. And cities, of course, well, you know, you have so much more variety, but you often will pay more.